Hey guys, welcome to Digit and today we are driving the Chevrolet Cruze LTZ, the automatic variant and we are going to tell you about all the technology that this car packs that you can enjoy. So we're just going to go for a little drive. Now the first and most important thing that I have to tell you guys is that the drive in this car is absolutely fantastic. We've been driving it around the city of New Delhi for the past couple of days. We've taken it on the Greater Noida Expressway just to see what this car can do and the drive is absolutely pleasurable. It is a very pleasurable drive. Another thing that we have to tell you is that the speakers in this car are really good. You've got two tweeters in the front, two speakers in the front, two speakers at the back and the audio output from these speakers is absolutely brilliant. It is one of the best sounding speakers we have heard in a car recently. Even at low volumes, the audio is audible and the tones are very easily recognizable and even at really higher volumes, the audio doesn't crack or distort or isn't bad at any level whatsoever. So that's one thing that we really enjoyed about a car, about this particular car. Now coming to the central console itself, you've got a really nice array of distribution of buttons on the steering wheel itself. As you can see on the extreme right, you've got the volume rocker, you've got uh, the search sync button uh, right next to it, which is actually a toggle wheel. It's not really a button, so that's really nice to see that it's a toggle wheel. It feels very seamless uh, to the thumb once you get used to it. Uh, it's second nature, it's wondering why other cars haven't adopted a wheel instead of a button. Right next to that, you have the voice command button, which we are hitting the slightly hit and miss points of the tech inside the car. Now it does uh, recognize a certain voice commands when you ask it to call someone, like if I say, let's say call mom, you'll hear that. Please say a command. Call mom. Please wait until after the beep to speak. Call mom. Calling mom at work. See, it absolutely very easily recognizes and I'm just gonna hang that up. So it recognizes it, but it takes time and not always is it perfect. So here we're gonna try the voice once again. Please say a command. Call Adamya. Did you say call Adamya? Please say yes or no. Yes. Please wait until after the beep to speak. Yes. Calling Adamya on mobile. So yes, in both these instances that we've shown you right now, it recognized the voice very easily, which is a really, really good thing. And now we're going to show you the voice quality as well when you have a call that's in-car through the in-car speakers. We let... Hi, Adamya, what's up? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, who's this? Do you not know who this is? Who's this? Sam. Yeah, right. Ori? <laughs> Okay, anyway, we were just testing out the speaker quality on a voice call in the Chevrolet Cruze that we are driving. Thank you so much for participating with us. But your voice uh, sounds exactly like something. Okay, so... There's, there's a problem with this. So, so, evidently, my wife thinks that I sound like one of my very good friends and that might be a little disturbing, but nonetheless, it's still, it still got our recognition right. We have answered a few calls. Thanks, Adam. Bye. Have a good time. So it does, you also have the ability to dial straight from the touchscreen. We will get to the touchscreen in a bit. But other than that, sticking to the controls on the steering wheel, now moving to the left, you have a reset button, you have the cruise control, and it's very easily accessible between both your thumbs. That's one of the best parts about it is, since this is an automatic, you really don't need to keep one hand on the gear shift. You just got to keep it on the steering wheel and you can reach all the navigation buttons with ease. Now that's how big my hand is, my palm and my fingers, it's fairly, uh, not the biggest hand out there and it's very easily accessible for me. The grip is good. You do not have the ability to control the central console display which shows you your kilometers, your mileage, uh, your current average that the car is giving you. That toggle is on uh, the right stick of the steering wheel which also has uh, uh, the indicator button so you can toggle it from there. It's really nice if you've seen certain other cars where you have a physical button right there between the central console it might not be that great but out here the fact that it's integrated into the side is really really nice now of course coming uh, to the central console now when you are paying for for a premium car you would expect something like an android play or uh, apple carplay to be available but here it isn't you have chevrolet's own link app which you can download and use but 
pairing normally with a Bluetooth uh, smartphone like we have paired it with the OnePlus 3T that I'm using right now is really really simple you just go into Bluetooth on the console which is a touchscreen console you go into Bluetooth on your smartphone and you just hit the pair button it is that simple But there is a small problem out here. Now the touchscreen out here does feel slightly resistive and that is a hit or miss. If you're someone that wants a very responsive touchscreen then you are going to get a little annoyed. I on the other hand kind of like it simply because I really have to go there and press the button. So it's not something that is going to take away or get half my attention and be okay. You really have to pay attention to what you're pressing even though it's a touchscreen. And that is a good thing because you know exactly what you're going to press and receive a reaction. Now you have a number of connectivity options. Right here under the armrest, we have the USB port and the auxiliary port. And uh, there's a nice indent through which the auxiliary cable can pass through, which makes it really, really handy. So you're not going to destroy the cable. You have a standard preset of AM, FM and Bluetooth capabilities. And it can actually play music from my phone as well. So when I go into my phone's options, I can actually enter a number, go into the phone book, have a call list, have the voice assistant in here actually read out my text messages to me, which is also nice so I really don't have to reach for my phone all the time. Uh, the dials, the controls of the entertainment system are nice, the physical buttons are pretty big, especially when you have the play, pause, uh, the previous and the next buttons, it is really nice. also have an electronically adjustable seat but that's only for the seat to go back and forth and height adjustments as far as the back is concerned that is a good old-fashioned lever so that's again something else that is interesting you know you can just go simply and I can really go back and come back forth and it's really easy if you really need to adjust your position while you are driving so overall, I'd like to say that the tech inside the Chevrolet Cruze LTZ automatic uh, variant that we are driving is fairly interesting. The drive is fantastic. The speakers are really, really good. The touch console might be a bit of a hit and miss, especially if you think about certain buttons like the back, the home, the favorite button are located in a corner. So you actually have to reach for the edge of the touchscreen. I would have liked it if there was a little more touchscreen real estate above or below so I could actually have enough space for my finger and I don't feel like it's going into a corner somewhere but that is probably the only qualm that I have with the touchscreen. The voice, well, for this demo, it called my mom perfectly, it called my wife perfectly, but there are times when it has been a slight bit of a hit and miss with someone. As far as navigation is concerned, if you have Google Maps on your smartphone and you're okay with listening to the directions, the speaker will give you the directions once uh, the voice in Google Maps is on. Unfortunately, you do not get any visual reference. Last but not least is the reverse parking camera. Now the reverse parking camera is really really smooth, it's really good, it works absolutely seamlessly. Once you get into reverse gear, you will see the camera pop up. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the lines that it describes to you where your car is going isn't adaptive. So as I turn my steering wheel to let's say parallel park, it's not going to show me the exact angle of the turn that my steering wheel is getting the tires to make. The lines on the display are always straight and if you're a novice parker, if you're really uncomfortable parallel parking, that little bit of extra help with the adaptive lines would have been a great addition. But as you can see, we are on a highway right now. We're going to enjoy the drive that we have left with the Chevrolet Cruze. That was all about the tech inside the Chevrolet Cruze LTZ automatic variant that we are driving. If you like this video, you can always hit the like button. If you want us to show you the tech inside any other car, you can always write to us and let us know or leave us a comment below and we will definitely try to show you the tech inside that car. This is Samir who's going to enjoy a drive and we will catch you in another video.